good morning everybody welcome to my channel um, I'm on Pinterest I've pinned this particular pattern uh, I believe it's called Rome uh, I don't like the way this layout is because the boxes go instead of going here 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 they go here here down like this that drives me nuts but anyways that be, that that aside let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're supposed to be doing first off we do some wavy lines nice and big apart and they it's hard to see but they actually are orad can you see that it actually has two lines there then uh then we put some parallel vertical lines kind of staggered offset from each other you know like a like brickwork or whatever then we come in and add more of these wavy parallel lines and then we do more vertical uh, these are also parallel they're just really close together and then we do rounding so that it ends up looking like this I'm assuming this being is how it's called Rome it reminded this person of a cobblestone street I think it's cool let's give it a go we're going to turn on our light we're going to zoom out a little bit because you are just way too close in let's find a piece of paper what shape shall we use today let's use one of these which one do we want Ooh, there's a fluorescent yellow let's do that whoo wee that's quite the color we are quickly approaching August and August is my birthday month so if you want to wish me a happy birthday the best thing you can do is hit the subscribe button so we can get to those 30,000 subscribers we're still like 300 subscribers away if you could hit that subscribe button if I could get 30,000 subscribers in the month of August I would be so tickled pink I really would um, yeah I'm going to I'm going to use a pencil I know I know purists will yell at me for using pencil but I'm gonna use a pencil I'm gonna make myself a little border and then I'm gonna plan out my my wavy wavy bits something like that you don't want them all going the same wave the waves can be each one different and then if I do All right, we are going to tackle this with, I was thinking black, but then I was thinking a color, but then I was thinking, no, I don't want to do a color. I do not know. What am I feeling today? I'm not feeling black. Maybe dark purple. It's going to feel like black. It's going to look like black on camera but it's this pen pen oh it's not purple even it's blue all right blue it is use it or lose it on your uh, art supplies folks the worst thing is when you grab a pen that you haven't used in a really long time and then you find that it's all dried up because you didn't use it so you might as well use it right
like that. And or that. Or that. And or that. Okay. And then we have. this something like that Something like that. Something like that. Now this, if you put little, um, if you put little, like, like this, little rectangles up along here, would look like movie film. Which is also very cool, but not what we're going for today. But also very cool, just FYI. So then here we do this and we go behind these pillars. Like so. Something like that. I'm thinking something like that. And then we do more verticals. Let's, let's erase these other lines so I don't get confused now. I put those rectangles. That's going to confuse me. Okay. I actually drew those kind of dark. I can still see them. See, that's why I don't draw dark. If I draw dark enough so you guys can see my pencil marks, then I have a hard time erasing them. We're supposed to be in two different places. Ha 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 ha. They don't go. Okay. Those weren't supposed to go straight, but that's okay. It is what it is. Offset. Off. 
offset from everything. I did that one lining up, that top one there. I lined that one up. It was supposed to be offset like this. That one's wrong. Something like that. Something like that. That'll work. And then we just round the corners. Like so. This will be the tedious part. So, let's get a question, because this will definitely be the tedious part. What did your family do for fun when you were a kid? Well, we did all sorts of things. My mom was a co-leader of our Girl Scout troop, so we did a lot of Girl Scout stuff. Badges, and events, and trips, and camping. Um, my sister rode horses, so many weekends we went to horse shows watched her compete. Um, we had a bronco and a tent trailer and we went camping on the weekends and drove all over the Southern California deserts and some Nevada, some Arizona, but mostly Southern California deserts, um, and in doing so, we we were part of a a Jeep club, and part of their tenets is that you do no harm to the land, and as you're out there enjoying the uh, driving around over bumps and boulders and ravines and things, that you also do something good, and we uh, would clean desert areas if you found any trash that was left out there. We would take um, chicken wire and, and posts and things and um, find abandoned mine shafts. There are a lot of them out there in the desert, if uh, believe it or not, and we would um, go to those abandoned mine shafts and um, I mean, if we happen to find one as we were driving around it's a very dangerous thing these just these big holes in the ground that just go down and uh, you don't see them from the surface you really don't they just blend all in uh, so yeah we would uh, well we as kids we didn't really do much of it but sometimes I think I would help hold the chicken wire up while, while the adults would put in stakes in the ground and put up chicken wire and um, and like caution tape to warn people of a dangerous spot. Those kinds of things. Seems like we were always busy doing something. Feels like there wasn't a lot of sitting around. Unlike today where I spend a lot of time sitting around. Next question. 
What was the most embarrassing thing to ever happen to you? You know, that's not for the internet to know. Sorry, folks. It just isn't. We will move on to another question. There are just parts of my life that you guys just don't need to know about. Have you ever walked in on anyone and then saw something you did not want to see? Haven't we all? Haven't we all? want to describe it? No. Can you maybe guess? Perhaps. Has that ever happened to me? Has my son ever walked in to our bedroom at an inopportune moment? Yes. Does he remember it? Probably not. But maybe. I don't know. It's not something you've ever asked about. Alrighty. Let's move on. It seems to be a bundle of inopportune questions here. What were some dangerous things you did when you were a teenager that don't seem like a good idea now? Ooh. I didn't do a lot of dangerous things as a teenager. Um... Some things I would maybe question now would be uh, once once we had our driver's licenses, a group of us girls would go places together that maybe now, well, things were different and the area was different. There were places we used to go then that are no longer safe now as places to go as young women by themselves. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. You, you wouldn't let your kids there anymore by themselves. There were places that were a little sketch back then that, like where we had our prom was a little sketch. But that's where the uh, organizers of the prom, the adults in our lives, chose this place. Um, not a place I think I would have gone on my own. And everything was fine except for uh, we had some car trouble. And it was not a good part of town to have car trouble in. Just FYI. Yes, it was a cheap part of town. That's why they rented a hall there and not somewhere else. But not a good place to get stuck on the side of the road. Pre-cell phone. Remember, these are pre-cell phone things. 
But yeah, there are some places we probably went that we shouldn't have gone. But I was not like a daredevil of any sort, so... Um, I can't think of anything I might have done as a teenager that I shouldn't do now. I'm a pretty mild-mannered sort of gal. Now, do I know people that did all sorts of stupid things as teenagers? Absolutely. Uh, there are some... Um, let me check something first because I think it's accurate, but I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to say anything until I verify. Let me do a quick Google search. Yes, I am correct. Um, Stevie Nicks was an alumnus of my high school. If that tells you anything. There are some kids who were very much into that band drug scene in my high school. Did I know Stevie Nicks? No. Graduated, like, almost 10 years prior to me being there. But does that me not mean that there was a culture, a band culture in our school that continued and lingered past the Stevie Nicks? Period. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Van Halen also in the area. Van Halen actually played at a lot of backyard band stuff in our neighborhood. So, yeah. There were things going on. High school ceramics teacher um, looked the other way when the kids in ceramics class were making uh, drug paraphernalia, smoking utensils. Yep, there were a lot of handmade. pipe-shaped objects coming out of that ceramics classroom. Did I know what that was? Yes. Did I partake or, or hang out with those kids? No. It wasn't me. It's never been me. As an adult now, do I know people who who did hang out in that crowd. Yeah, I'm part of the alumni, you know, alumni group on Facebook, and there are a lot of people with fond memories of really stupid high school things. Driving inappropriately, having a lot of weed hanging around, band stuff, you know. The kids who would, uh, 
I mean, I think the worst thing we did was toilet paper each other's houses. And we did it to each other, not to strangers. That's the worst thing we ever got up to. A lot of, a lot of kids would put dish soap in the, in the fountain at the, at the park, which was an ongoing issue. But it wasn't really hurting anybody or anything. Although I don't know how much the parks and recreation people enjoyed the dish soap coming out of the fountain. But I must say, the fountain was spectacular with dish soap coming out of it. I have got to, I've got to give you a visual here. Let's see, where's my scrap piece of paper? Here's, here's my scrap piece of paper. All right. Imagine, imagine a, a fountain city park fountain that looked like, I mean, it was just ripe for it, let me tell you. It looked like a big champagne glass. It just did. There's, and it had a, it had a thing, you know, there's, there's the city park, and here is this fountain. I mean, from here to here was probably five, six feet. It was, it was up there, and this, this probably was I don't know, 20 feet across or something. And imagine it filled, filled with Mr. Bubble. And it would come out here. And it would come out here. And it would head toward the street. And sometimes it would make it all the way to the street if somebody was really used a lot of bubble soap. It, it, it was quite spectacular, I must say. Was I part of that group? Nope. Nope, I wasn't. Did I maybe know some kids who did that? Yep, I maybe did. Can I tell you their names now? I don't think so. Uh, my friends might be able to. I'm, I'm one of those people who have a hard time remembering people that I know and love. Uh, I don't recall names of people that just were not in my daily part of my life. But when I was in high school, if you told me their name, I would know exactly who you're talking about. I just don't recall them now. And I may recall if somebody said somebody's name, I might say, oh, that, that person I think was in the, the group of troublemakers. But maybe not. Do I know someone who was in a group of troublemakers that completely changed his life? Yes. Yes. There is one who became a very famous Christian author with books on, you know, how to mentor teens through their difficult years. Because he was one, a teen having difficult years. And if anybody, when I was in high school, would have said that this guy would have cleaned up his act and become a Christian author, <laughs> I would have rolled on the floor laughing. But he absolutely has, and everyone is so proud of him. And am I just telling names? No, because these stories are not mine to tell. They belong to someone else. All right. That looks cool. I like this. Okay, what was this called? It was called Rome, right? Let me verify the name of this pattern. Yep, it's called Rome. It needs shading. I am going to shade it. It's not shown with shading in the step out, but I 100% think it needs shading. So let's grab ourselves a pencil. We're going to go to the bottom of each of these shapes, stones. of 
scribbity dibbity. With the giant blending stump. Because it moves graphite more than the little one does. Could I have been a little more tidy with where I put my graphite? Yeah, I could have been. Should have put a little bit closer to the bottom. So I don't have this like line right there. But that's okay. I'm not, I'm not stressing over it. It's just fun art. It's not, it's not meant to be a graphic masterpiece. It's meant for play, for fun, for just having a good time. That looks too bright. I want to soften that color just a little. And I think I want to put a little bit of highlight if I can get this pen to work. Sometimes it just don't work. See? like I want like maybe a bright green highlight my watch is telling me I need to get up and move I do need to get up and move and I'm just about done this is the last one for the week it's getting too hot out here to really draw comfortably, so time to go in the house. I've got things to do. I have a puzzle to work on. My son got, got me that 18,000 piece puzzle. <coughs> and I'm about halfway through the first 4,500 pieces. I've got a long way to go. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you guys on whatever the next video is going to be. Go out and have some fun doing something. Reminisce about your high school. Tell me about things that you grew up doing. Toys, games, high school adventures. Whatever you want to share with me. Um, I share with you all the time. You guys don't share with me very often. I, I want to hear more. And do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button so that my birthday month can be the best month ever. And we can do this giveaway by having our 30,000 subscriber celebration. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.